Now, I've been building model kits for years now, and every once in a while, I come across a post that absolutely blows my mind. And as I was scrolling through some posts, there was something that stopped me dead in my tracks that told me I knew I needed to make a video on it. So, in today's video, we are learning what I saw in that post, and that is how to make your own part separator. Let's get it. Sometimes as we're building our model kits, we find out that we may have skipped the step or we assembled something incorrectly and need to take the pieces apart. For the longest time, I've just been using my hobby knife to get my pieces apart. I didn't really feel like I needed to invest in a new part separator. But when I found out that I can make my own using the things that I already have in my toolbox, I know this was something that I needed to do and also share with you guys. But before we get into that, guys, I need to give credit where credit is due and shout out the person who actually showed this or brought this idea to my attention so you guys can give them the credit and the recognition that they deserve. Please, if you're on Instagram, go ahead and give Lib is here a follow, as well as follow him on his blog, The Rebeginner. I'll go ahead and link everything in the pinned comment down below so you can give him the credit that he deserves. Now, let's get on to the tutorial. Let's start with the tools that we need to build our part separator. First, we need our nippers in order to cut out our part separator. Next, we're gonna need a hard back sanding tool in order to get the plastic into the shape that we need. Finally, we need something to actually make our part separator out of. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be using our leftover runners. More importantly, we're gonna need the runner tabs. If you're not familiar with what a runner tab is, they're gonna be these little flags here that stick up off the runner that let us know which runner we're looking at as we're building our kits. Once we have all of those things in place, let's go ahead and start making our part separator. First, let's cut our tab. Try to find one that's completely solid so that as we sand it, it doesn't become too weak as we start to use it for a wedge to get our pieces apart. Now, since our tabs are gonna have a little bit of the runner on one of the edges, we're gonna go ahead and cut off about an inch from our working space in order to make for a nice and even tool that we can slide between our pieces. Once our tab's all completely cut out, it's time to sand our pieces. Now, we don't need to completely sand the entire tab. We just wanna focus on the completely solid side in order to get a working surface. If you have a metal file, this would be a great time to use it to file down all the excess raised areas to bring it back down in line with the rest of the tab around it. Now, if you don't have a metal file, that's okay. All we're doing is we're sanding away the raised letterings to bring it back down to the level of the rest of the tab. Once the lettering is all removed, we're gonna go ahead and put our sanding stick down on the table, which is gonna give us a nice even surface as we begin to form our wedge. As we run our tab back and forth over the top of our sanding stick, be sure to keep a nice shallow angle to make it easier to pry our pieces apart. If it gets a little too steep, it makes it harder to get pieces apart. So the shallower the angle, the better. Once you're happy with the angle of your wedge, go ahead and call it done and give it a test out on some of your pieces you have lying around. The best part about the separator is that it uses the same plastic that our kits are made out of. This means less likely a chance to damage your kits. And if anything were to break, hopefully it would be the tab that you're using and not the kit itself. Unlike hobby knives that are sharp and can damage plastic, these wedges are safe for kids to use too. And they're able to make their own part separators if they ever need one. And even if the tool breaks, we can go ahead and reshape our wedge on the same part or just grab a new tab and start again. Since our model kits always come with so many extra tabs, it's a good idea to save a bunch in case you need to make extras. And if you want, you can even give them to some of your friends too. Sustainable options like this are so great to see in this hobby and I'm happy that I can bring this to you guys, even if I wasn't the one that came up with the idea. So before we go, I just wanna remind everybody to go ahead and give Lib a follow on Instagram and stay up to date on his blog, which I'll leave again in the pinned comments below. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found some value in this video and remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next one.